Hello, my name is Jeremy and I work as a materials and geotechnical engineer. So in the geotechnical part uh, aspect of the engineering that I do, we often collect soil samples, run tests as far as the size, grain sizes, um, to determine whether the soil is suitable for pond uh, percolations or is it suitable for a building or do we need to bring in different types of soil. So uh, basically the geotechnical part is making, uh, collecting soils and making recommendation on engineering properties of the soils. So basically what I do is I make sure the soil, the ground is suitable for buildings and roadways, other infrastructure. And then I also look at the building materials to make sure it's safe and uh, habitable for people. As far as stress goes, um, many engineers would say deadlines. Um, however, here that's not really a problem in this field. Uh, it, however, a lot of times I have to cover technicians work. For example, we may need say soils collected from a site and we may have a technician on the other side of town. So I would have to go do that and so that would basically put something on me that I would normally have to do. My typical work week is between 40 and 50 hours a week. Um, I can work anywhere from 8 to 12 hours a day. Um, however, uh, like the other day I worked 20 hours in one day um, and I took Friday off. So it's not the typical 9 to 5 job, it just depends on when you get your project done. Okay, so to be a materials uh, geotechnical engineer, um, you need a bachelor's in civil engineering and uh, along the way I would suggest that you uh, obtain transportation certifications and your uh, counselors within civil engineering department can help you on obtaining those certifications. So in addition also be sure to take uh, transportation uh, or geotechnical materials engineering courses as your electives. So the best part of my job is basically the flexibility that you have uh, between the office and field so that sometimes you're out in, in the sunshine enjoying the outdoors and then other times you get to rest at the desk drinking a Gatorade. So that's the good part about it and, and I enjoy it a lot. So the worst part of the job is when clients or contractors call us last minute and want something done say the next day and we can't fit it in because we're already booked or and we want to be a part of these projects often they're, they're good projects. Okay so one other thing that happens it rarely happens is my workday is extended and sometimes I need to work, say, double um, what I would normally work, 14 hours. Um, so that's one thing you have to be prepared to do to get the job done. So I do have some final advice. Um, book knowledge isn't everything in engineering, and I would suggest for you to basically work as a technician over the summers and also try to get the best engineering internship that you can get um, at least at least one for your resume um, if you have additional years for field technician that also looks good okay so the field of engineering is very precise in terms of you, you must care about what you're doing and have determination, determination to do it correctly. Um, it's very important that buildings are inspected correctly. Um, these materials are um, correct in terms of what's been specced out. So you have to, to enjoy what you do. You also need to put the quality and the time and caring into it. 